DMS Service welcomes you to our how-to video series. In this video, we'll walk you through the simple steps of hooking up the patient to your MyPatch SL using the MyPatch SL Adult T electrode, which to confirm is part number MPE3SLT. Prior to hooking up the patient, you want to make sure you have a fully charged MyPatch SL recorder. Make sure the blue light on the recorder has gone from flashing blue to solid blue in the charging station. You will also need to prepare the patient's skin prior to attaching the MyPatch SL recorder and the T electrode on the patient. If the patient has any chest hair where you will be placing the device, remove the hair by shaving. Wash the area where the electrode will be placed with soap and water, and then pat the skin dry. Next, you will want to ensure that your MyPatch SL recorder is properly turned on. To turn on, simply press and hold the button at the bottom of the recorder until you see the green light flash. Once the recorder is powered on, before adhering anything to the chest, you'll need to attach the recorder to the T electrode. The recorder only attaches one way, so line up the connectors and snap it into place. After the MyPatch SL recorder and T electrode have been connected, you're ready to put the device on the patient. Carefully remove the back liner from the electrode. When applying, it's important to note that the recorder needs to be straight up and down. In order to correctly position the T electrode on the patient, start by adhering the electrode gel on the bottom of the T electrode to the center of the sternum between positions V1 and V2. Press the electrode up to the sternum, patting firmly as you go. Press firmly over the entire electrode to make sure it has adhered to the skin. That's all you need to do in order to make sure that your MyPatch SL and T electrode are connected properly, adhered to the patient, and powered on to start recording. Thanks for watching and trusting DMS service with your cardiac monitoring.